Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about my top 5 favorite financial YouTubers. These are 5 YouTube channels that I have personally enjoyed watching and I think they contain a lot of useful information, especially if you're a newer investor and you want to learn more about investing, personal finance, stocks, etc. Now I'm going to list these 5 YouTube channels in order of subscriber account. So the one with the most subscribers first, and then we'll go down from there. Oh, and if your favorite YouTube channel is not included in this list, let me know how mad you are down in the comments. Let's get started. So the first one is a very obvious pick. Graham Stephan. He's a little clickbait sometimes. Some of his videos, especially his newer ones, I think they're made to get views and ad revenue. But even then, he still presents a lot of valuable information in an entertaining way. He has a background in real estate, mainly, and he makes plenty of videos in personal finance in general. Things that he makes videos on include things like credit cards, savings accounts, how to buy a property, Acorns, Dogecoin, Robinhood, Fundrise. So he makes content on all kinds of stuff. Let's look at his channel. So he has 3.66 million subscribers. That is a lot. Not only is he the biggest finance YouTube channel, but he's just one of the biggest YouTube channels, period, I think. So let's look at his description. As a 30 year old real estate agent and investor who started working in real estate shortly after turning 18 with over $120,000 no, $120 million <laughs> in residential real estate sales since 2008, I've created this channel to share my successes, failures, and experiences in the real estate industry and to support others who are thinking of getting into the business. Oh, and I'm also obsessed with cars. A lot. So expect to see some cars upload to my channel. A lot. <laughs> and subscribe because all the cool kids are doing it. So I think he's pretty entertaining when it comes to his videos and a lot of his content is very useful and especially if you're looking to invest in real estate because that's his specialty I think it's really impressive and if you look at his playlist there's lots of things um, mainly on real estate that you can watch there's real estate slash investing in 101 real estate agent strategies, real estate investing. So obviously he has a ton of playlists dedicated sp specifically for real estate investing, right? But there's also plenty of videos um, about any kind of topic, really credit cards. I've watched some on just very specific things like Dogecoin, Shiba. He basically takes whatever's making news in the financial world and he makes a video on it. And he presents a lot of useful information. Easily digestible. The general public can watch his videos and understand what he's saying. And that's very hard to do is to take subjects in the finance world and make them very presentable to the general public. So I think he does a great job of doing that. And you know what? <laughs> he's made a ton of videos. I've been watching his videos for years, right? I and a little biased. I prefer his older videos more. I remember he was making videos on like Fundrise, um, just different things that people were looking to invest in. His newer videos focus on the stock market, but he didn't used to be that way. It used to be mainly based on uh, real estate and personal finance habits in general. But yeah, I really like his uh, content. He does follow that formula, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's one of the earlier people who took on that strategy. And hey, it, he does it very well. People click on his videos, they give him the views, and the views are deserved because his content is really well made. All right, let's go to the next one. Investing with Rose. Now, this is one of the newer ones that I've started looking at um, recently, but her content is really impressive. 
She's got a really nice resume, a finance degree from NYU, bought her first stock at 14 years old. So she's got a lot of experience. I like how honest she is about options trading and investing. She doesn't make it look like, you know, a 100% surefire thing. She talks about the risks and things like that. So I, I respect that a lot. She's very well spoken and explains topics in a way most people will understand. She had the education and experience to back up the content of her videos. She's not just <laughs> making stuff up, right? Her, the content of her videos actually comes from somewhere. Um, from the ones I've seen, some of her videos come from her own personal experience. So she's speaking from things that she has personally experienced in. And I respect that. So here are two playlists on her channel that I recommend. Options trading for beginners and investing for beginners. Let's look at her channel. So this is Rose Han, money and investing made easy. Let's read her about section. Description, bought my first stock when I was 14 and have been hooked ever since. I've made it my life's mission to empower people and to elevate the financial well-being of humanity. Give a woman a fish and you feed her for a day. Teach a woman to fish and you feed her and her family for a lifetime. My videos are about teaching you how to fish. Isn't that great? I have a finance degree from NYU Stern School of Business, as well as extensive experience trading in the financial markets and working in private equity. Most importantly, I'm just a big nerd that loves talking about money. So she makes a lot of great content for people who want to learn more about investing. And like I said, these playlists right here, investing for beginners and options trading for beginners. These are the content on her channel that I would recommend most to people who are wanting to learn. She makes videos about what a stock is, what a Roth IRA, um, the dangers of options trading, things like that. It's really good content. She has 608,000 subscribers. So. She's got a lot and it shows why, because her videos are well made and she explains things very well. Let's go on to the next one. The plain bagel. Now he is more of, I would say he focuses on history a lot. So he uploads content, content on many interesting topics. A lot of his videos are history lessons talking about the 2008 financial crisis, Great Depression. I think he made one on the dot-com bubble as well. Just different like history lessons in economics, which I think is pretty useful because we can learn from what happened in the past. So it's useful for people who are interested in economics in general. And he has videos on specific topics like the Greeks in options trading. The playlist I recommend on his channel is investing topics. So let's look at his channel, the plain bagel. He's got 489,000 subscribers, investing and personal finance, educational videos with a hint of economics posted regularly. I'm a CFA and CFP professional working as an analyst for an investment management company in Ottawa. I'm a huge finance nerd and I'm passionate about the field. I think people lack the resources they need to make educated financial decisions. And hopefully this channel helps with that. I agree. I think the content in this channel will really help people who are newer to investing and they want to make more educated decision decisions. He has videos on the difference between trading and investing, how to tell if a stock is cheap or expensive. He's got history lessons on the great depression, the, Greek debt crisis. He explains the Greeks in uh, stock option trading. And like I said before, these are all really good playlists that you can watch five minute history lessons. I think this, what makes him stand out is that he has these history lesson videos that not a lot of other finance YouTubers focus on. So probably check this out too. But yeah, I think this is a great channel to watch if you're interested in economics in general. Let's move on to the next channel. Learn to invest. Now he's a 
smaller channel combined to someone like, you know, Graham Stefan. But I've been watching him for a while too. And I would say he's not as entertaining as someone like uh, Graham Stefan or in investing with Rose even. But he presents things without any BS. Like he'll tell you straight up. There's no clickbait, just straight up useful information. And he goes in depth about how to really analyze things. So the channel is well organized into playlists. And I have two playlists that I recommend from him. Investing Basics and the Economics Playlist. Let's look at his channel. Learn to invest. Investors grow. The description is not as, as impressive as the other channels. So investorsgrow.com is an investing education website designed to simplify the world of investing, getting us all closer to our goal of achieving financial freedom. I think he should uh, probably update his description <laughs> because he deserves more than that. But let's look at his channel. He has 244,000 subscribers. And the type of content that he makes. So he makes analysis on specific companies like GE, um, Blizzard, Intel. I've seen a lot of his stock analysis videos on specific stocks. But besides that, he also has this investing basics channel. What is free cash flow? Uh, basics of a 401k, things like that. Like you learn very general um, investing basics. Very useful if you want to get into investing. And like I said, here's some of specific analysis like Facebook, Target, and economics. I think this is really good content also. What is the tariff? What is inflation? What is deflation? So all of this is very useful information if you want to learn about economics in general. And of course, once in a while, he posts monthly stock market update and analyzes whether we invest now or we wait so he presents a bull and a bear case once in a while i think every few months actually i think he does it on a monthly basis but yeah so much great content on this channel smaller than the other channels because i feel like the general population will not find it as entertaining and youtube is a place people go to for entertainment but if you can get past that and you want to just straight up learn about investing, my goodness, there's so much great content here. If you just want to learn about investing, let's go to my last and final pick. This one is a little more of an acquired taste. It's kamikaze cash. Now wall street bets is something that became widely popular in the past two years. But before then, it already had a pretty long history. And Kamikaze Cash, he explains investing strategies using jokes and memes and Wall Street Bets lingo. And he talks about the Wall Street Bets history and things that have happened in the past. And this is pre like GameStop and AMC and things like that. Before 2020, Wall Street Bets already had a history, and he goes into that. He appeals to people who spend way too much time on the internet and want to learn how to invest. So people who are into memes and jokes and things like that. And specifically, if you're someone from Wall Street Bets and you actually want to learn options trading strategies, Kamikaze Cash is a great channel to learn that information. For him, the playlist that I recommend is the Theta Gang Strategies playlist. Let's look at his channel. Kamikaze Cash. Welcome to the home of Kamikaze Cash by Mikey Millions. We bring you the Theta Gang lifestyle and pair it with the word on the street from Wall Street Bets and slick financial information. Channel topics, finance, betting, stocks, options, crypto, Bitcoin, interest and shares hot trades dank memes and the best of wall street bets all in one place like i said this is more of an acquired taste 
because he focuses mainly on content surrounding Wall Street bets. Subscribers, he has 114,000 subscribers. And here it is, the Theta Gang strategies that I recommend. What I find really unique about this channel is that he explains things in a very different way than other finance YouTube channels. Because, like I said, he explains things in a very meme way. Um, and I think that it's a really refreshing to see finance topics explained in such a way and not just for the general public. Some people, if you watch this channel, you're just not going to get it and you probably won't like it. Me personally, I spend way too much time on the internet and I love dank memes. So... Theta Gang Strategies, this content become is just so good. You learn about call options, put options, covered calls, the risk of covered calls, cash covered puts, the wheel, put credit spreads, call credit spreads, a short straddle, iron butterfly, candlestick patterns. So a lot of useful information in a way that meme lords can understand which is so unique. So yeah, these five are my top five financial YouTube channels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll be someone's top five financial YouTube channels one day, <laughs> but I'm not that type of guy who makes a lot of videos teaching people. My channel was mostly focused on just showing results of what I do. If you do want to learn, then these five channels right here, Graham Stephan, Investing with Rose, The Plain Bagel, Learn to Invest, and if you're a meme lord, Theta Gang Strategies. These five, you could learn a lot from them about how to invest in the stock market and about personal finance in general and economics. A lot of useful information. So yeah, those are my top five. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye.